magic niche sweat nebe kizage higo we go out and pray for the water because the water is sick and it's it's contaminated mm -hmm. and we we basically just do the water ceremony to um pray for it for hopefully one day that they um that the water's clean the water on Manitoulin Island is mostly frozen on this bitterly cold day. But the prayer always has the same meaning. What may not be expected, it is being made by one of Canada's youngest water protectors, driven by the tradition and ceremony of her elders, and maybe even by a calling. Autumn Peltier is just 13. And in most ways, just like any other teenager, she texts a lot. She giggles, she hangs with her friends, and she makes slime with her sister. But she's also a little bit exceptional. Almost without expecting it, she has become a visible activist for safe drinking water and clean waterways for Indigenous peoples. Why do you care about it so much, do you think? Well, I guess it just really affected me he seeing and hearing that there's First Nations communities that can't drink their water and it's contaminated because of pollution and pipelines from breaking. And yeah, just one day it really affected me and I actually cried about it. And it makes me really mad when I think about it. And I, t I even talk about it with my friends a lot. She is also inspired by her mother, Stephanie, who has worked to make sure her girls are raised with a deep sense of identity and traditional Anishinaabe teachings. Do you think that people listen to her in a different way? I and they might listen to you or me or someone else who's been doing it for 20 years? I think so because I can get really overwhelmed as a mother thinking about how big this has gotten. Like, but do you think there's something special in her about this? When she came into the world, she was so serious. Like, <laughs> she came out, like, she was just had this look on her, and I almost couldn't look at her. And she didn't even cry or anything. She just stared at me, and, and I said, who are you? Um, this is the dress that I usually wear to my talks, like, where I public speak. Because when you're wearing a skirt, it's used for protection. What I've been told through ceremonies is Mother Earth has been su surviving for millions of years without us, and it's take taken us less than a century to destroy her. And Mother Earth doesn't need us, but we need her. That's what I tell people when I wear this dress. It would seem, too, that people are listening. There is something about a young face of the next generation that may cause people to listen differently, more closely. Autumn was nominated for the Children's International Peace Prize in 2017. She is asked to speak in this country and around the world, and she had one rather overwhelming meeting with the Prime Minister. What did you want to say to him? Do you remember? I just said to him, I'm very unhappy with the choices you made and broken promises to my people. Then he said, I understand that. And then you I were really emotional yeah, too. Then I started crying, yeah. and then all I had, all I said was the pipelines. And then he said, I'll, "I will protect the water." She says, "I understand that there's so many communities that don't have clean drinking water, and it costs a lot of money." She knows that, and she says, "Cleaning one, one or two communities is better than not being able to clean any." In fact, where Autumn lives on Wikwemekong First Nation, there are no drinking water problems. And recently, the federal government committed even more money to eliminate long-term boil water advisories across the country by 2021. Change seems to be happening, if slowly. But for Autumn, it may come at a cost. Verbal bullying, all the way to physical bullying, where kids would be throwing balls in my face, like basketballs, and pushing me. Why, though? I don't know. They were jealous, or...? like. Because I had to go to counseling because I was like feeling bad about myself. And they just told me it was probably because of jealousy. So did you think to yourself at that point, like, well, 
why am I doing this? Like, this is too much for me as a kid. Yeah, I think the bullying almost, like, almost made me want, feel like quitting what I was doing. Have you been able to forget about that, or how are you? I forgot about that a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it still upsets you a little bit, yeah. though, I can tell. Those difficult moments seem to have made Autumn stronger and able to deal with using her voice to call for change. So we're going to go over our schedule here, see where we're at. We're going through this first page pretty quick. It seems like a lot. Like, you just the ones that are already scheduled, it already seems like there's a lot. There is a lot. And you know what? There would probably be more. Did you, during that time, ever say, this is too much for a kid? No, I... I or too much for me. It, maybe more me, because I'm a single parent, and I raise my kids by myself, and a lot of times I'm, I'm alone, and I don't have a lot of... Like, I have family support, but I don't have physical support. You're not making money off of this. No. We're not making money off of this, and, and sometimes when we travel, we it's on my dime. Oh, here we go. So here's some of your ideas. So because of Autumn and her mom and her sister, the demands have been pulled back. But there was one invitation that could not be passed up. Speaking to world leaders at the United Nations tomorrow. Do you realize how big a deal it is? Yeah. What you're about to do? Mm-hmm. Because this is bigger than basically everything that I've ever done. For me, this work, I'm going to keep on doing this work for the rest of my life. I hope that I can make a change and people from all over the world be to have clean drinking water. So it is worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Autumn, as you might expect, has lots of plans for the future. She might become a lawyer or a chief or a politician. But of one thing, she is certain she will continue this work that she has already begun. As things stand now, there are currently 79 long-term drinking water advisories on reserves. And as mentioned, the government says it is now on track to get rid of all of them by 2021, if not before. It has also uh, already, rather, resolved 56 of those advisories since the Liberals came into power in November 2015.